Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video topic is going to be all about why I personally choose to wear a respirator while I am making candles. Now, this has been something that has come up a lot more recently. I've been seeing a lot more people commenting on an older video that I made discussing the fact that I do choose to wear a respirator when I make candles. And for some reason, it's become controversial or I don't know what it became, but I've gotten a lot of different comments on opposite sides of the spectrum, um, essentially asking me, why are your candles so toxic that you need to be wearing a respirator? And then also on this side, people saying, you don't even need to wear that. It doesn't do anything. Those, the filters that I choose to use aren't actually protecting me from the uh, huge amount of fragrance that is being put into the air around me. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is just the respirator that I use. So this is the 3M brand and the uh, filters that I choose to use are right here. So this is the um, 3M 2097 filters. And these are the same filters that um, I've had people say is not actually going to protect me against the fragrance oils that I potentially could be inhaling, breathing in um, all over the place in my apartment. Now, when I switched over to using my respirator, it was the most magical thing in the whole world. I didn't smell anything. I didn't feel sick. I didn't feel heavy in my chest. And I know that's all very anecdotal and I was not able to find any information on their website in terms of breathing in fragrance oils. Um, I don't think that's a very common thing that people will ask them. I might wanna reach out to them to ask, but I could not find any information on their website in terms of the fragrance oils. But what I did find is that this particular mask with these filters on here, um, it says that the 3M particle filter 2097 P100 with nuisance level organic vapor relief helps provide respiratory protection against exposure to lead, asbestos, catamum, arsenic, and MDA. Now, what drew my attention to that was when it said uh, with nuisance level organic vapor relief. So when I was looking into it, I had read that it's essentially a vaporized fragrance into the air. So that's what made me think, okay, well, if it protects against vapors, then maybe vapors of any kind it will protect against. And my boyfriend used to be a welder, and this was the exact respirator, the exact kind of respirator that he used all the time when he was welding. And if you're not too familiar with welding, there's tons of fumes and things that are in the air. So you have to wear something like that so that you're not breathing everything in. What I personally experience when I don't wear a respirator when I make candles is I get a very heavy feeling in my chest, as well as sometimes I get a stomach ache as well as a headache. And I just feel overwhelmed by the amount of fragrance that's going on in the air when I'm making tons of candles at the same time. I've gotten a lot of questions asking me, why are your candles toxic and you're selling candles like this? And aren't you using better ingredients and organic ingredients and whatever it is? And honestly, I think that there is a huge difference between making 30, 40, 50, 60 candles at once all being poured and having the fragrances all being bounced off the walls in my small apartment. And mind you, there's not a lot of ventilation going on in my apartment complex because if you've ever lived in an apartment before, you know how they're made. And this wall, this side of the apartment, there's no windows because there's another apartment right there. So I'm only trying to get the airflow to kind of go on the same side of the apartment and just kind of flow through and get as much airflow as possible. But I think that that is so much different than just a consumer purchasing a candle and lighting a candle in their bathroom and just having that very, very small amount of fragrance to be dispersed into the air. I just think that, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I just think that there is such a big difference between lighting 60 candles and lighting one candle. In response to the comments that I get about the toxicity levels of the fragrance oils or why don't I use essential oils because they are pure and organic and natural versus the synthetic fragrance oils. And I would actually argue that that is more of an appeal to nature fallacy, meaning that just because something is natural, it means that it's good or better than something that's not natural. And an example of that is asbestos and acrylic. So asbestos 
Asbestos is something that is natural and acrylic is something that is man-made. So would you rather paint with asbestos paint or acrylic paint? So that is just a small example of that. And I know that's not the case in every situation, but just because something is a natural form of something doesn't mean that it's better in all cases. And I don't know a lot about essential oils and candles, but I do know that even with essential oils, if you are diffusing too much essential oil, that can be irritating, just like the fragrance oils can be irritating without it being toxic. So you can have something that's irritating you, but not have it be to the point where it's adding toxins to your body. I actually was somebody who used to use essential oils quite often. I had so many different kinds. I think I was signed up under the Young Living MLM crap at one point. Luckily I never sold it, um, but I did purchase the starter kit and I was able to sell it if I wanted to. And I would use those for everything. I use them all the time. I would use them on my skin, diluted. I would diffuse them and I would also ingest them. And I don't recommend that at all. I was just kind of brainwashed at the time. But when I would diffuse them, I had noticed that if I was in a small space like my bathroom or my bedroom and I didn't have that ventilation of the open window or just you know a larger space for the amount of the essential oil that was being diffused, I had noticed that even breathing that in, I would feel the heaviness in my chest and it was starting to irritate me. So again, I don't think it's a matter of just because it's irritating you, it's toxic. I think it's just too much of that substance that you're breathing in. But who knows, I could be totally wrong with everything that I'm saying. I never claim to be an expert. I never claim to know everything. I could be wrong and I could change my opinion or my mind later on down the line. Who knows? All I know is that right now I am a candle maker and I wanna make it as comfortable as possible until I can get a bigger space, have more ventilation, have more airflow going through and maybe I wouldn't feel so overwhelmed being so stuffed inside of this little apartment. And this mask right here is helping me get through and get by at this time in my life. And just so you know, when I'm burning a candle or I'm testing multiple candles, I don't wear my respirator, it's fine. I don't feel that feeling when a candle or two candles are burning in my apartment because it's not 60 candles going on at once. The amount of fragrance that's going into the air is such a tiny level compared to how many candles are being made at once and how much fragrance is going on in the air. So I hope I've made my point in this video. I hope that that came across in this video. I just choose to wear it. You don't have to if you don't want to. I would recommend it to people. I would recommend it because I think that it makes for a more comfortable experience and you're not irritating your lungs while you are making candles because because of the higher concentrate of everything in the air. But that is just my personal opinion. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.